Welcome to our first instructional video. Here you'll learn the basics of how to navigate top500guide.com. Once you subscribe to the database you want, you access your data by signing in with your email address and password. You'll automatically enter your personal dashboard. Your dashboard gives you exclusive access to Internet Retailer's newest online news service, Top 500 Insider, which provides daily news and analysis on the global leaders in e-commerce. You'll also see the custom reports you've created and saved for future use. But the primary way to access the databases you have purchased is here. Click on Enter the Database. If you've subscribed to more than one database, the system takes you to one of the databases you've purchased. From there, you can access your other databases by clicking on Select Another Guide. Check the box for the database you want. In this demonstration, we will use the U.S. Top 500 database to illustrate the basic features of Top500Guide.com. Upon entering the Top 500 database, you'll see the e-retailer rankings from 1 to 500, plus the name of each company, its annual online sales, growth rate, and monthly unique visitors. Future videos will show you how to display the hundreds of other metrics available for each e-retailer. This default screen only displays the top 100 merchants, but you can easily control the number you want to display. Here are some other basic features. Let's start with the profiles. Click on the name of any e-retailer and you'll access that company's profile, the latest news about that e-retailer, and its complete data file. Each listing includes website traffic, financial results, operating performance, customer satisfaction scores, and shopper demographics, plus hundreds of other key metrics. You'll also find the e-retailer's primary vendors and a list of the features and functions of its e-commerce site. Before moving on to more advanced features of the Top 500 database, let's look at two other basic functions, search and sorting of the data. The search data box above the rankings allows you to search on any keyword or phrase. So if you search for Zale, for example, the system retrieves the country's 203rd largest e-retailer, the jeweler Zale. Or, let's say you want to find the top 500 e-retailers based in Dallas. Simply search on the word Dallas and you'll see that Neiman Marcus, Army and Air Force Exchange, and giftcard.com all have their corporate headquarters there. The search also turns up National Business Furniture, which is based in Milwaukee, but owns a URL dallasmidwest.com. As you can see, the search turns up any reference within the database where the search word or phrase appears. Now let's turn to sorting of the data. While the system automatically displays e-retailers in the order of their online sales, you can rank them on any of the five columns in the default screen. For example, clicking the down arrow next to the 2012 Monthly Unique Visitors column ranks the e-retailers on that metric from highest to lowest. No surprise here, Amazon is the leader not just in online sales, but in unique visitors as well. Now click on the growth rate arrow, and you'll see that the fastest growing e-retailer in the U.S. in 2012 was Groupon. If you scroll down this list, you'll see all e-retailers ranked by their annual growth. Now you're ready to move on to more advanced features of the Top 500 database by viewing the next video.